how do I teach my toddlers martial arts? So that's a question that's asked many times because I train them since they are little babies. And my method is all based on one most important principle. Learning is fun. Children love to learn. They want to learn from nature. They want to explore. They want to find out. And all we have to do is give them the possibility, the opportunity to do just that and not suffocate their innate um, wondering about the world. So when I want to train martial arts with him, like today, he didn't want to put on the gi. And all I need to do to still have him love training martial arts is not force him to wear the gi today. He's still too young, he's just two years old, two and a half. So if I would force him to wear the gi, he would start to maybe dislike the gi. So I will not do that. Instead, let's play a little game, okay? Let's learn some takedowns today. Okay, Peter, wenn wir ringen, komm, war kurz. Ja, lass das noch. Komm, ich bin Bosewar. So we play dinosaur game. I am a best dinosaur. Ah, oh, Hilfe, Punk. Ui, ah, jetzt muss ich auf meinem Buch sitzen. Wow, now he's already winning. Oh, kannst du mich auch noch zum Aufgeben zu ringen? Hand biegen. Ah, oh, Hilfe, Hilfe, tap, 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 tap. Mm, gut gemacht. Okay, now we will learn escapes. Haha, jetzt musst du dich befreien. You have to escape. Make me fall. Nimm meine Hand und mach, dass ich umkehre. Ah, oh, plumps. Jetzt musst du wieder raufkommen und mich umrühren. Now he has to stand up and let's don't take downs again. He just has to make me fall. Oh. Und jetzt auf meinem Buch sitzen. Now we can learn to mount. Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. <lacht> Und jetzt kannst du mich auch zum Aufgeben zwingen. Ja. Yeah. Submission machen. Au! Tap, 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 tap. Mm. Gut gemacht. Wow. And, and it's that easy. It's that easy. He doesn't have to learn. Oh, and now he's an evil dinosaur. Ui, ui, ui. Hilfe, Hilfe. A evil dinosaur. Ah, I need to run away. Ah, and now I'm Ah, plumps. <laughs> Good job, baby. Wow. Wow. I'm trying to try to be free. Now I'm controlling you. Oh no, he escaped. Can I run Ah, I'm falling. <laughs> so the key is that uh, it's not about the details. It's about the general concept. He's learning to make somebody fall. He's learning to escape on the floor. And with children that small, it's not about any kind of details. It's never about do this better or do that better. It's just about having fun and positive reinforcement. That whatever he's doing and it's fun, he can learn to push away. Yes. And they are explorers. He will learn what his actions will uh, produce, what outcomes will come out of his actions. Oh, and now his leg hurts. <laughs> I have no idea why. But just as, as long as he feels that I put positive reinforcement, I will not say, oh, it doesn't hurt. I will just say, oh, poor baby. And then very soon again, he will be strong and fighting again. Maybe he will soon be a dinosaur again and make me fall. <laughs> and it's really, it's just that simple. So to me, with my very little toddlers, I, I never teach anything that uh, they do wrong or they need to improve. It's all about them having fun. I taught them one submission because to me, like it's, it's two and a half. My other one is four years old. I will absolutely not teach them a chokehold, which is potentially deadly. Right until they are 10 or 12 years old, I will not teach a child chokeholds. Like I would not teach 
a seven year old to hold a gun either and uh, have him have that gun with him at all times. And the chokehold is like a loaded gun. Maybe a 10 year old I could ask to trust with a gun. Mm. And so same as here with the submissions, right? I will not teach a toddler to do an arm bar and potentially break somebody's arm. But wrist locks bear extremely little danger for injury, especially in children that young with very mobile and flexible wrists. So they learned that when we flex their wrist, then they will say stop or ouch, and I will stop immediately. And that is another core principle of my teaching with, with my toddlers, with all children and with all adults. It's all about consent and informed consent. And I teach the kids about respect and respecting themselves extremely early on by as soon as they say no or stop or our, I will stop. And it teaches them that everybody must respect when they do not want to participate anymore, which increases their self-confidence a lot. Because many parents in good will, they override, they overrule a child's consent and they learn that their consent is not necessary for them to participate. And with me, they learn and they would be shocked if somebody would uh, override their consent. They would start to fight. They would, you know, they would give back. They would clap back. They would not be like, oh, it's a normal experience. My father does it all the time. No, I do not do it all the time at all. If they do not give me content, like I ask, I, laugh at me all you want. I ask him, is it okay if I change your diaper? If it usually says yes, if he says no, I will explain to him that I still have to do it. But right here in play fighting, when he says stop, it's stop. No questions asked. He learns that it's always in his control. He learns about his inner power. And same with all the kids and all the adults that I teach. They learn that it's all within their power and that gives them the trust to go further because they know that no matter how close they are to the edge or beyond the edge, they say stop and it stops immediately. Yeah, baby. So we learn takedowns, we learn escapes, we even learn punching and kicking. Usually I will not teach punching and kicking to kids that young, but with my own ones, I take that responsibility because I can take a lot of time teaching them about when they can use punches and kicks and when not. And as you see, it's, it's incredibly simple. Children love to learn. It's the same in school. Remember, when you went to school, first class, you were eager to learn, you wanted to learn, you loved to learn. You were happily looking forward to learning all those numbers and to read and write and do math. And maybe some of the adults already kind of laughed at you and said, oh, you're gonna lose that fun soon enough. And sure enough, most of us did. And that is partly because of the pedagogic in school, that they teach you a lot about how wrong it is, what you need to do better. While in reality, if we would trust the innate quality of the child to wanting to learn and wanting to improve themselves, because being better at things is more fun. It's more fun to be better at math. It's more fun to be better at writing. It's more fun to be better at martial arts. So if you just trust the process, they will inevitably become better and better and better and better at whatever they do. Subscribe. Yeah, it just takes that trust and maybe a bit of patience sometimes and positive reinforcement. As soon as he does something good, I make him feel that he did, did it good. I fall. Yes, he can pass if he wants to. He can hide or lay down if he wants to right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do a roll. Perfect, wow. And I just wanted to share with you a part of my method. And it's sometimes it's not as easy 
with my little demonstration partner here, my little Peter. But I think it's very important to showcase the method firsthand because that's how he learns and that way he will never have any negative experience with me in the dojo because it will never be, ah, oh, no, you did that wrong. It will just be, wow, you did good. Oh, it's just gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of positive reinforcement. It's their favorite playground to be in the dojo with me. And yeah, they will not do the same exercise a hundred times, you know, but he's right now he's doing some strength training on the parallels. In a moment, he will start to hang at the rings again, you know, and all of it is very valuable training for that little future champion right there. It's a laugahong, so yeah, he wants to go hang on the rings and he tells me I need to come hang too. Uh, next time I will probably show you a couple more games, but some of the most important games are just, it's just called wrestling, ringa, we just wrestle. Sometimes it's dinosaur wrestling, sometimes it's dog wrestling, sometimes one of us is a unicorn or uh, a robber or a policeman or <laughs> you name it, it doesn't really matter. It's just about the concept of making somebody fall and that's how they learn throws and the older one the four years old is already starting to inquire about new methods of making somebody fall he already knows double with single leg and kosotogari and osotogari and soon enough he's gonna know all the throws all the submissions all the escapes just take your time and let it grow naturally